Ever wondered how investigators track a phone in real time? It sounds like spy fiction, but the tech is surprisingly accessible. This video is for educational purposes only, always respect privacy and the law. We're diving into OSINT open source intelligence to reveal how real-time phone tracking works. We'll break down 10 powerful tools from everyday apps to advanced stealth systems. You'll see how easy it is to pinpoint a device anywhere on the globe. Ready to have your perspective on digital privacy shattered? Let's get started. Up next, Google's Find My Device. First up, Google's Find My Device, built into nearly every Android phone. If a phone is on, online, and logged into a Google account, you can see its location on a map with shocking accuracy. It uses GPS, Wi-Fi, and cell towers to triangulate the phone's position in near real time. All you need is the Google account login. Once in, you can ring, lock, or wipe the device remotely. This is level 1 OSINT, using a public tool for its intended purpose. But it's the foundation of all location tracking. Google's integration makes this a default feature, not an add-on. For anyone with legal access, it's the first and easiest step. Reliable, official, and precise. Sometimes, the most powerful tools are hiding in plain sight. Next, let's see how Apple takes this even further. Scene 3. Apple Find My. Apple's Find My is a unified network for tracking iPhones, iPads, Macs, and AirPods, even when they're offline. The secret? Bluetooth. Every Apple device sends out secure, low-energy Bluetooth signals. When another Apple device passes by, it picks up the signal and anonymously reports the location to Apple's servers. This creates a global, crowdsourced network. Your lost device can be found even without Wi-Fi or cell service. In cities, offline devices are pinged by nearby iPhones within minutes. Like Google, you can play a sound, lock, or erase the device remotely. But Apple's offline tracking is a game-changer, leveraging its massive user base. For OSINT, it's a closed but incredibly robust system. These built-in tools are powerful, but what if you need to track a phone that isn't yours? That's where specialized and controversial tools come in. Next, the IMEI number, a phone's unchangeable fingerprint. Scene 4. IMEI Tracking Every phone has a unique, hard-coded IMEI number. It's digital fingerprint. Law enforcement uses IMEI tracking to locate phones, regardless of SIM card changes. The IMEI is sent to cell towers every time the phone connects letting carriers triangulate its location. This method doesn't need GPS or apps, just the phone's basic connection to the network. Accessing this data is nearly impossible for the public. It's reserved for authorities with legal warrants. Beware of online IMEI tracking services. They're almost always scams. IMEI tracking is the backbone of high-level surveillance, bypassing software and going straight to hardware. In investigations, police use carrier data to map a phone's movements over time. While not accessible to most, it's crucial to understand this capability exists. But what if you want similar results without carrier access? Enter commercial spy apps. Scene 5. Spyic. Spyic is commercial spyware marketed for parental or employee monitoring, but its features are straight out of a thriller. Once installed, it runs in stealth mode, completely hidden from the user. Spyic tracks live GPS location and uploads it to a secure dashboard, giving you a real-time map and full location history. Its geofencing lets you set virtual boundaries, get instant alerts if the phone enters or leaves specific zones. Installation usually requires physical access for Android or iCloud credentials for iPhone. Once in place, Spyic gives you detailed automated surveillance. From an OSINT perspective, it's a powerful example of software-based tracking. You're no longer relying on carriers or built-in tools. You've put your own agent on the device. It's a stark reminder. If someone installs this on your phone, your location privacy is gone. Next, another stealthy competitor, Kokospi. Scene 6. Kokospi. Kokospi is another stealth monitoring app, known for being nearly undetectable. It tracks real-time GPS location, logs addresses and timestamps, and builds a detailed map of daily movements. Kokospi can also track SIM card changes. If the user swaps SIMs, you get an alert and new details. The dashboard is user-friendly, making powerful surveillance accessible to anyone who follows the instructions. This democratizes surveillance, raising major privacy concerns. Kokospi highlights a critical vulnerability, the trust we place in our phone's software. These apps turn personal devices into tracking beacons. For researchers, studying how they hide and transmit data is a lesson in mobile security. The most effective attacks often come from software, not just networks. Next, mSpy, the all-seeing eye of monitoring apps. Scene 7, mSpy. 
The M-SPY is a comprehensive surveillance suite. Location tracking is just the beginning. It offers precise, real-time GPS tracking, with full location history and instant updates. Geofencing lets you set unlimited safe or forbidden zones, with instant alerts when the phone enters or leaves. But M-SPY goes further, it can monitor calls, texts, emails, browsing, and even social media chats. It includes a keylogger, recording everything typed on the phone. This contextual data makes location tracking even more powerful. For OSINT, M-SPY is a masterclass in data extraction. One app can compromise every aspect of digital privacy. The ethical questions are huge, but as a case study, MSPI shows just how much is possible. With the right tool, a smartphone becomes an open book. But FlexiSpy takes things even further. Scene 8, FlexiSpy. FlexiSpy is the Cadillac of monitoring software. Expensive, complex, and packed with features. Its GPS tracking is flawless, but it also logs Wi-Fi networks for extra location confirmation. The real Shocker Live call interception and ambient recording. You can secretly listen to calls or activate the phone's mic to hear its surroundings. FlexiSpy can even remotely activate the camera for photos or video, giving you a visual of the environment. This trifecta, location, audio, and visuals, makes it the apex predator of spyware. The ethical and legal implications are staggering. Using these features without consent is illegal in most places. But for understanding mobile vulnerabilities, FlexiSpy is the ultimate case study. With enough sophistication, a phone can be completely commandeered, tracked, heard, and seen from anywhere. Now let's look at apps built for consent and safety, not stealth. Scene 9. GeoZilla. GeoZilla is all about consent and family safety. Everyone in your circle agrees to share their location. The app shows a live family map, so you always know where loved ones are. Its significant location change algorithm saves battery by only updating when users move. Geofencing sends alerts when someone arrives or leaves a designated place. There's an SOS button for emergencies, instantly sharing your location with the group. Driver safety reporting monitors speeding or phone use while driving. Geozilla shows how location tech can be used ethically for coordination and protection. Next, Life360, the most popular family safety app. Life360 is a household name for family location sharing, built around private circles. The live map shows everyone's real-time location and even their phone's battery level. Place alerts notify you when someone arrives or leaves key spots like home or school. Life360 has expanded into a full safety platform with crash detection, emergency dispatch, and roadside assistance. In-app messaging keeps all family coordination in one place. Its deep integration makes it central to family logistics, but some find it invasive. For OSINT, Life360 is a case study in normalizing constant location sharing. The data is valuable and sometimes controversial as the company has sold aggregated location data. It's a powerful example of how framing and user experience shape our comfort with sharing sensitive data. Next, Glimpse for temporary location sharing. Glimpse is all about temporary, time-limited location sharing. You send a link showing your live location for a set time. Once it expires, Tracking stops. Perfect for short-term coordination, like meeting friends or letting someone know your ETA. Recipients don't need the app, just click the link to see your real-time movement. You control who sees your location and for how long, with privacy as the default. Glimpse is a great example of controlled information release. Share only what's needed, when it's needed. It's a smart, responsible approach to location tech. Now let's wrap up with what you've learned. Scene 12, your new superpower. You've just seen 10 of the most powerful OSINT tools for live phone tracking. From built-in features to advanced spyware and family safety apps, you now know how the tech works and how to protect yourself. This knowledge is a superpower. Use it responsibly and always respect privacy. The line between research and illegal spying is serious. Stay on the right side. Drop a comment with your questions or favorite tools and subscribe for more tech insights. Thanks for watching.